Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the page report in Google Analytics 4 and how you can improve it. Or if you're familiar with the Universal Analytics version of the page report, make this GA4 page report more familiar or similar to the Universal Analytics version. So here's the page report in Google Analytics 4. And there are a couple of ways that you can arrive on this report. From the left navigation, if you click on reports and under lifecycle, engagement, pages and screen, this is where it'll take you. Or if you're on the home page of Google Analytics, from the top, if you scroll down a bit, there's a data table for views by page title and screen class. And you can click on this link, view pages and screens, so that it'll take you to the page report in Google Analytics 4. And once we arrive, you can see that there's a few charts at the top. We have this time series chart, which shows us the top pages, the top few pages. It looks like it's about five pages. Yeah, the top five pages. And also this bar chart that also shows us the top five pages as well. So these two charts are different versions of the same thing. And if your website traffic develops a pattern over time, then these charts might not be too useful. For example, as you can see, the top pages here are the home page in both of these charts. So if this is a developed pattern, then these charts won't be that useful. Now, if we scroll down, there's a data table here that shows us the page title or screen class and then metrics including views, users, views per user, average engagement time, event count, conversions, and total revenue. This is similar to the version in Universal Analytics, but there are a few differences. So if we go and take a look at the page report in Universal Analytics, we can also see the page, page views, unique page views, which in Google Analytics 4 is replaced by users. And they're actually pretty similar because unique page views is the number of sessions during which the specified page was viewed at least once. And in a similar fashion, if a user visits one of these pages, then they'll obviously count in the user column for Google Analytics 4. So back to the universal analytics version of the page report, there's average time on page where we have average engagement time in GA4 entrances. This isn't in the GA4 out of the box page report nor is bounce rate, nor is percent exit. And there's also page value for the universal analytics version where we also have total revenue in GA4. I wanna point out in GA4, there are these event count and conversions columns. And for these columns, you can actually filter the rest of the data table by selecting specific events or conversions. So for example, for event count, you can select these, any of these events listed. For example, if you want to create a landing page report, you can choose the session start event and the table will update to show you the pages where users started their session from. And in a similar fashion with conversions, 
you can select whatever conversions you have configured for example purchase begin checkout or any of these other conversions available so let's set this back to all events now if you want to make this GA4 page report similar to the Universal Analytics, you can do that if you have the proper admin privileges. So we're going to go to another GA4 property for our test site because we have the appropriate admin privileges that enable us to customize these out of the box reports. And if you look in the upper right corner here, you'll see this writing utensil icon that allows us to customize report. And when you click on this icon, you'll be brought to a screen where you can customize the dimensions, metrics, as well as the data visualizations and data tables. So if we go down and look at our table here, you can see what kind of metrics we have. And let's click on this metrics under report data. And we can see all the metrics that we currently have in the table. Now let's add metric and we can type in bounce rate. If you want to add bounce rate, you can move it up to where it makes sense. So for Universal Analytics, this was next to entrances and exits, percent exit after average time on page. So we can move this Actually, I think this is a good place before average engagement time. You can check for any percent exit and it looks like we do not have that metric available, but there's another way that we can obtain that metric in reporting. So now that we have that, that should work because we can still use the event count for entrances by using the session start event. So we can click on apply in the bottom right, save the changes. You can save it to the current report or save it as a new report. And if you save it as a new report, you'll name it and it'll appear in the left navigation. So confirm the changes and our page report will update with the bounce rate. So we scroll down and we can see our bounce rate here. So that's the default out of the box page report in GA4 and how you can change it, improve it, or make it similar to the page report in Universal Analytics. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.